Welcome to another Mr. Games official video. In this video we're going to look at some minimums for overclocking. We're going to see if you can actually overclock your CPU and we're also going to look at some more advanced overclocking features. Alright so the first point I want to make is you have to know how modern your hardware is. If you have a Pentium 2 or something, some sort of old second-hand office computer it's pretty unlikely that you're going to be able to overclock because uh, they're not really designed to overclock. They're so old, they're so weak, you're not even going to get any advantage from overclocking, really. So, you, it's pretty much a waste of time to even consider it. You're better off, if your budget allows, to just buy a whole, whole new system, which can be bought fairly cheaply these days. So if you have any questions on your hardware, if, if you're not sure if you can actually overclock, just just leave a comment below, send us a PM and we'll help you out. Alright, so if you are ready to overclock, you have to make sure that your motherboard actually has overclocking features on it. Um, not all of them do, a lot of the cheaper ones don't. You're probably going to want to check this before you go out and buy any extra hardware for overclocking because you could be disappointed. Uh, also, a CPU cooler is a good idea. You don't need to necessarily replace your old CPU cooler, but it's a good idea, like your standard CPU cooler, it's it's a good idea to actually get an aftermarket one, because they, they are a lot better, and if you're worried about over overheating your hardware, they're a good idea to have. Uh, you can also make sure that you have case fans, at least one, for a mild overclock that'll sort of ventilate all the heat that's inside the case uh, outside uh, obviously now one thing I want to um, let you know about is some some boards do overclock uh, but they sort of limit the overclock for example an older motherboard with a newer CPU might not be able to get the best results out of an overclock uh, so you might have to raise the voltage a bit higher you might have to settle with a lower uh, frequency all that sort of stuff so once again for those people who don't have any money to go out and buy a an aftermarket cooler which they're, they're fairly cheap anyway um, you can overclock with your stock CPU fan although you're not going to want to push it too far you can get you know four five hundred megahertz out of it um, without too much trouble if you want you should check out our overclocking video for temperature sort of monitoring and stuff so you don't fry it and all that sort of stuff so for those who are wanting to really push their hardware and get a really fast overclock as fast as they can you're going to need a, an aftermarket cooler they're pretty cheap you can pick one up for 50 bucks a, a pretty good one you know you, if you chuck in a little bit more you'll get something that's even better obviously um, you're gonna need well it's a good idea to have better thermal paste slightly more expensive usually these coolers do come with them better thermal paste you, you're gonna need thermal paste either way if you're gonna replace your fan but while you're at it you might as well get something that's a little bit high quality also more case fans that'll just help ventilate the warm air from inside a little bit better and if you're really keen there's water cooling and liquid nitrogen but that's that's really advanced stuff uh, if you're just starting out it's not necessary and really it's you know things like liquid nitrogen that that's crazy stuff so there's a few things you need to watch out for. Obviously dust. If if you're using this the stock uh cooler, obviously you're going to need to check for dust more. Those things um pick up a lot of dust and especially if you're running your hardware so so fast, you're going to need to make sure that that's all clean and working as good as it can. If you if you're overclocking in winter, you know your room temperature could be considerably lower than in summer so you're going to want to 
check, you know, watch out f uh, with temperature, uh, with the temperature change. So for those who are interested in overclocking, but don't know how, you can check out our how to overclock video. There should be a link in the description below, and uh, th there might be one on the screen at the moment. Um, and if you found this useful, or if you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, like, or subscribe. We've got uh, plenty of videos on this sort of stuff. Uh, the latest game sort of information, hardware information, all that sort of stuff. So check out our channel. And thank you for watching.